Welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to October 1976, Muscular Development Magazine. Interviewing Mr. California, Kalman Skolak, by Bill Reynolds. Enjoy. Kalman Skolak was born on January 16, 1953, in Budapest, Hungary. At 5'10", his contest body weight is 215 pounds, a weight at which he sports a 52-inch chest, 30-inch waist, 20-inch arms, 26.5-inch thigh, and a 17-inch calf. The resemblance between Cal and Arnold when the former strikes his side chest pose is uncanny. The same immense high and powerful pectorals that are the direct result of 400 pound bench presses. The densely rounded deltoids so reminiscent of Larry Scott at his best. The striated back of Franco in his best shape all confront you without a warning. Ken Sprague recalls the first time Cal came to Gold's. He was driving this beat-up international step van that was also, well, his living quarters. He came out for the specific purpose of training, and he didn't give a damn how hard he had to rough it. He was going to train and win the Mr. America title, and Lord knows what else. Ironically enough, Cal's one fault at this time centers on his legs. Just as Arnold's main problem when he came to California to train were his underdeveloped legs. The similarity between the two is so evident that it becomes almost impossible not to discuss Arnold when the topic is Cal Skullack. I interviewed Cal and his wife Joan at Gold's Gym in Venice. Could you fill us in on a little of your background? Cal When I was three years old, I was living in Budapest, Hungary, and my parents migrated to the United States. We settled for a short time in New Jersey, but I was brought up in Wilmington, Delaware. When did you become interested in the weights? About six years ago, when I was 18. Despite my athletics, I was quite small, weighing only 125 pounds at 5'1 in height. I don't know exactly if I began lifting weights to enhance my athletic ability or to improve my physique, but soon I was training and simply because I enjoyed it. My arms measured about 10 inches, so that measurement has doubled. My start with weight training happened to coincide with a height spurt, so I gained several inches in height in about 35 pounds of body weight the first year. By the time I weighed 165, I could bench press 300 pounds. What contest did you enter prior to your win at the Mr. California? Well, I entered only one other contest, the Mr. Delaware in 1973 which I also won. During the last 15 months since I moved out to California, my physique has improved 100%. I knew in my heart that I had the potential to become a great champion if I worked hard enough, so I moved out here. This simply had to be the place where champions trained best, because there were so many of them. If you're going to make it at all in the sport, you're going to make it in California. So what caused those great gains? Was it the inspiration you received from training at Gold's with all the other great champions? Cal, certainly that did have something to do with it, but mostly it was just a complete change in my lifestyle. Everything I ate and did was focused on bodybuilding. I thought I was training hard before I came out here, but I realized 
I was barely scratching the surface. Would you briefly outline your training for us? Sure. Basically, it's seven days a week, six heavy and the seventh just for calves and abdominals. For each body part, I use heavy basic exercises at first. As my strength is used up, I'll go lighter. I seldom superset, but occasionally I'll do a couple at the end of my deltoid or arm programs to get a good finishing pump. How many sets do you do per body part? Ordinarily, I do four sets each for four different exercises, but before a contest, each muscle group gets 25 to 30 sets a week. On Monday and Thursday, I train my chest and back. Tuesday and Friday are shoulders and arms, and Wednesday and Saturday are legs. The waist and calves are trained daily. My pre-contest workouts are a good solid 3 hours and 15 minutes each. Your biceps are huge. Could you give us a sample biceps routine? After warming up, I start with incline curls, doing 5 sets of 8 or 9 reps with a pair of 60s. My second exercise is curls on the preacher bench, where I do 5 sets of 8 and work up from 100 pound barbell to 130 for the last set. Next, come 5 sets of 12 on the curl station of the Nautilus machine. 5 sets of 12 cable concentration curls at 40 pounds and 5 sets of 12 for reverse curls. That's about it. What type of foods do you eat in your everyday diet? Well, compared to many bodybuilders, it's a pretty light intake. I eat basically two meals a day, but I tend to snack often throughout the day on tuna, fresh fruits, and nuts. I eat steak four or five times a week, and I eat a lot of turkey, especially just before a contest. A typical breakfast would be an omelet made from eight eggs with some tuna, turkey or cheese. I'll tend to have one sweet day a week, usually Sunday. That's when I eat cake or pie. I do it just so I'm able to resist sweets during the rest of the week, but they don't build much muscle. How do you change your diet prior to a contest? I begin regulating the amount of carbohydrates I take in about three months before a competition from about 200 grams of carbohydrates a day I gradually cut back to zero for the last two weeks. So what do you see as the key to your bodybuilding success? In a single word, dedication. When I moved to California I had some hard times. It was rough finding a job so I lived in my homemade camper van for eight months to save money. And despite all of this, I consistently made training my number one objective. So Cal, you've come so far in such a short time. What are your goals now? Like most bodybuilders, I'd like to win the Mr. America and Mr. Universe titles. Then, as I get better each year, I will enter professional competitions. Eventually, I plan to make a living at what I like best, which is bodybuilding. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next video, keep training and chasing the dream.